Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are just doing a bit of a series this year on how to use products that are, we're able to forage. So today's one and today's episode is all about harvesting, collecting and making your own seasoning with sea lettuce. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Hey guys, we are down here at the beach because we are going for a swim and it's a hot day in Tasmania. Uh, but while we're also here, we're going to be collecting and I'm in the ocean. Uh, so <laughs> be very careful to hold my camera um, while I'm walking to where I want to go. But uh, we are here collecting as well some sea lettuce so that we can turn that into a seasoning. So uh, I'm going to turn my camera around and show you Elijah actually collecting some. Elijah is here collecting some sea lettuce out of the ocean. Um, I will show you down here what I'm talking about when I'm talking about sea lettuce. So this here, that is the sea lettuce. <laughs> uh, and so what we want to do is we want to collect it while it's actually still attached to rocks. Now ideally you want to have scissors so that you can cut it and it can keep growing and it's a resource that you can use over and over again. Um, but we didn't bring scissors with us today, so we're carefully just trying to tear it. Um, but essentially, that's what you're looking for. Elijah, you want to show us what you've got there? It's a bit of sea lettuce. Good. So it's a nice bright colour. It kind of looks a little bit like lettuce, but it's in the ocean. It's a seaweed. We're going to take it home and dehydrate it and then turn it into a seasoning for cooking. Okay, so Elijah is just getting rid of, you wanna, Elijah's just um, giving it a quick wash, so we're getting rid of like some of the sand that's on it. Uh, the chickens are thinking, oh, the yummy stuff for me. Um, but also any of the bugs that are on the seaweeds. So the other important thing that I wanna say here is it's really important to, um, when it comes to sea lettuce, make sure that you are collecting stuff that is attached to a plant uh, versus just what's flowing around in the sea because as it starts to break down, it becomes um, 
toxic. So as it's breaking down, it builds up in different uh, chemical components that are not so fabulous for us. So you make sure you want to want to make sure you've got something that's fresh. Okay, let's <laughs> get rid of the bugs. Oh, look, there's a swimming thing. Let me see if I can. A back swimmer. A back swimmer. The chickens might like that. Yeah, it's too small for them. <laughs> they might also like that fly that's in the water there. So we're just giving it a wash so that then we can start pegging it onto the clothesline. So if you want to wash one piece at a time and put it in there, you can. It's gone now. Let's give it a bit of a rinse, check every every piece is good, uh, and then put it into our colander over there. Chicks love it. The chickens want to eat it, yes. <laughs> for us to do the next step. We could do this step also on a in a dehydrator. Um, you can also, I know some people will just lay it out on um, different types of baskets and stuff to actually get it going, but also just sticking on the clothesline is another easy way to do it. Hey guys, it has been a little bit of a break between collecting our seaweed, drying it, and now actually turning it into a uh, seaweed. It's, it's not really a salt, but it's kind of like a um, flavoring of how you can use it. So I have my amazing son here, Elijah, who is gonna help me in making this up. So I'll turn the camera around so that you can see the ingredients and let's have fun making some delicious, tasty, and healthy uh, flavoring. All right, so we have here our sea lettuce and it's all crunchy, it's finished. We have some sesame seeds and pistachio nuts. So we're gonna put them in our mortar and pestle, grind them up and then off we go. Okay, so the first step is to take our seaweed and just pop it into our mortar and pestle, tearing it up a little bit um, as we go. We will, we will. You could do this in a blender. Um, I feel like it's more fun to do in a mortar and pestle though. Is it too big? No, that's fine. I do want to put in some sesame seeds. Oh, here comes a cat oat. How much do I put in? I put in about a handful. Okay. This is life. The cat's come to see what he's doing. We can always um, put in some more seaweed if you need to. Right, put in some pistachio nuts. Same amount? Yep. Now, one of the beautiful things about this seaweed is that it's got iodine in it, so it's going to help to support your thyroid function and keep it healthy and well. Um, thyroid is super important for things like detoxification as well, so uh, while we're eating the seaweed, we're getting all of those minerals from the sea, as well as iodine, which is going to help support our thyroid, and that's going to also help us with detoxification. So this is a beautiful thing that you can add to your table and increase the nutrition of your actual food. I think let's just start by trying to so far we are thinking about actually chucking it into the blender because um, the seaweed is not quite like it's not falling apart as much and my um, mortar and pestle I've got two this one here has got like a shiny bottom so my other one that has a rough bottom like it actually catches it and helps you to tear it apart 
as you're actually doing it. So we're thinking about chucking it in the blender uh, and turning it into a powder. She's not being, she's not happy to be down. Like put me down. Elijah's just gonna go put it on the Thermomix because uh, we want to get it done quicker. So while he has taken that into putting the Thermomix into Splend Up, um, I will tell you a couple of other things. So when we're looking at um, we're looking at our nutrients that we actually need. Pistachios are a really good one for helping to develop melatonin. So if you have kids that are struggling to sleep or you're struggling to sleep, then uh, pistachio nuts can actually be helpful in actually aiding that sleep by increasing your natural melatonin. Uh, sesame seeds are also packed full of nutrients, uh, one of which is it's got plenty of zinc in it. So if you're trying to increase your zinc at the moment, then sunflower seeds and sesame seeds um, are a way to do that. So uh, we're using sesame seeds. You can certainly put sunflower seeds in this. You can put a whole bunch of different things in this uh, if you want to. I did think about maybe adding some chives to it to give that um, sort of oniony flavor. Uh, I've left those out. <clears throat> um, but also, look, I'm looking around my garden. I'm thinking, well, I could have put some sage in there. I've got some pots here behind me. Uh, I could have pulled out some of the herbs from there and actually put them there too. But we're just going to keep it basic for this time and then we'll add to it. And, you know, actually, I want to make a herb salt. So I'm leaving the herbs for the herb salt that I want to make. Check out Jazzy. She's only allowed out here if she's sitting on the chair. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. Lovely performance, Jasmine. Uh, so she's sitting on the chair patiently while we make up our, our uh, herbs. Hello, Bobby. So there we go. Well done, Marja. Now you just sprinkle that over your food like you do any other seasoning. Did you have a taste? I did. What did you think? You're gonna pour it into our jar for us now. Ah, P.S. This is why you put like a pan or something underneath. We could use a funnel. We're not. <laughs> now you can sprinkle this over your eggs. You can sprinkle it into your soups and stews. You can add it into just about anything you're cooking. If you're making um, chicken, you could sprinkle it over the top of chicken. Um, there's loads of things that you could use this for. Um, and the more you use it, the better, the better your health is going to be. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you later. <laughs>